Gildas Alexander gets a high five from Mark Dagnall done for the night with 31 points, seven assists, three rebounds, and Jay coming up with four steals in this game for the ninth time this season, four or more steals. Count it from downtown. Fourth quarter dagger time for SGA. Cha-ching and Thunder Money Ball. Gildas Alexander's done it again. His NBA high, 43rd 30-plus point outing with 31. Third time this season he's done it to the Rockets. SGA clutches the rebound. Zanai once again push the pace a little. A little crossover from SGA. There it is. 50 times this season, SGA has scored 30-plus. He has 31 tonight. That leads the league by a wide margin, and Casey... Forty-seven games for you with at least thirty. How are you just so consistent, like the tide, night in and night out? My whole life is consistent. From what I eat to what I sleep to my recovery to my loved ones, everything's consistent, and it's, it's a routine for me at this point. Looking inside the pass, jump shot is up. It's good. Yeah, just took it right from him. How about Shea came over and swatted it away? Just a menace on the defensive end. This brother was dancing on dudes, dancing on him. SGA standing on business. Shea is nice. Shea a rock star. He's incredible. There's no other word for him. Probing, piercing, spinning, hanging for the lead, and SGA knocks it down. Here is what consistency looks like. In the last two seasons, Shea Gilgis Alexander has scored at least 30 points in almost 72% of his games. Sweet boy. stroke by oh, Gilgis okay. Alexander. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. In a volatile sport, SGA is a drumbeat of regularity, of reliability, a steady constant night in and night out. It isn't a choice, it's a lifestyle. Through my years in the NBA, I've tried to like create a routine and a schedule for myself. That way it ultimately gives myself the best chance every night to like feel the same way before the game. So I give myself the best chance to perform at the highest level. It can feel like every day is the same for SGA because he's seen it all before. Any defensive look, he's repped in practice for hours. Any move he makes, he's rehearsed over and over and over. Any shot he takes, he's seen go in thousands of times. It just, it just like felt like a, a groundhog moment. You know, just seeing him step there at that same spot. Did you watch the movie with Bill Murray? Oh, I loved it. It's one of the greatest movies of all time, you know? You, you can watch it any time of the year. I, I think it's gotten to the point where I feel really comfortable almost everywhere on the floor. I have a move or a certain shot that I like to shoot almost at every spot. Knowing that you can get to a spot and be comfortable every time you get there is uh, more the, the feeling I'm after and the, the, what, what my work goes towards. And he does it in a way that leaves air to breathe for his teammates. As he's ascended and developed, so have those around him. A rare, uncommon combination. Steps right in front, goes behind his back, and it sets up Wallace. To win, you have to be able to affect the game and not hinder the growth and success of other people. The most important thing is winning big. Like That's why you play. That's why you wake up every morning. That's why you work so hard in the offseason. Like, you want to win a championship, and whatever it takes, I'm willing to do. And that's just one of those things that it takes for a lead guy to do, to, to win. One game after another, the same thing, again and again. He led the NBA in 30-point games last season, and he's leading again this season, doing it more than 50 times, a new OKC record. He averaged 31 last season, and he's right at it again this season. And he scored exactly 31 13 times this season five more than anyone else has in NBA history. Even in the All-Star game, 31. Honestly, don't know, I don't know how it happens. Um, I still try to figure it out. I don't know, every, my friends always like pointed out, like, well, how do you get there every night and not more, not less, it's always there. I really don't know. It might feel unexplainable, a weird, random statistical quirk, but at the core, 
It's what SGA views his role as, one of his responsibilities to the team. It's for me, it's part of the game. It's part of the journey. Uh, it's part of what I'm after. I'm after greatness. I'm after the best version of myself and pushing those limits and seeing what they are. It's not getting there every night. It's getting to the best version of me every night. Always at his pace. Every game can feel a little like Groundhog Day with SGA. Wake up, score 30. Wake up, score 30. But in this case, nobody is looking for a shadow. Defenders are just chasing one. The field. Turning the corner for two. Gilgis Alexander, so dangerous off the dribble. He is big time. He is cool, calm, confident, consistent, and is he ever clutch?